What's up guys, JG here with another video about kitchen organization. And if you've been following this channel, you may recall that I recently made a video showing you about how to make really easy pull out shelves out of some old Ikea drawers for kitchen cabinet organization. Well, today I wanna to follow the same concept and focus on pull out shelves for the pantry. So as you can see, my wife is organizing some of the upper shelves but the real opportunity for us is in some of the lower shelves. So as you can see, as we come down to the second to the bottom and the bottom shelf, it really gets disorganized. And mainly it's because these shelves down here are, are less convenient, less usable. So we're gonna focus on making those shelves more convenient to use, and we're gonna do that with pull-out shelves. So for today's project, we're gonna be utilizing some of the sliding parts from a Ikea base cabinet that I picked up from the discounted section within the Ikea store. So in their display section, a lot of times they'll have these display units, these showroom units that they'll recycle the ones that maybe it's a discontinued item or maybe it's just an item that's received some wear and tear. Um, so they'll put that in the, in the discounted section and they'll mark it down pretty heavily. So we're gonna use this particular unit that I picked up today because of the depth. Uh, this base cabinet has the proper depth that will match my project. These kitchen cabinets are just too deep. They won't match my application. So I won't be able to use these. I'll use these in another project. So let's go ahead and start breaking down this unit. First thing you want to do is remove this panel. If you've got good fingernails, you might be able to do it without using a butter knife. The next thing that you'll want to do is you're going to use, let's see if I can get that to focus. You see that? And you just insert, there's a little lever here that you want to raise. You just turn clockwise and it releases come over here and do this side next we can remove the drawer from the drawer slides by pulling out the shelf applying some slight upward pressure and then if you push backwards and just basically wiggle around, you'll eventually work it loose. Now let's remove the drawer glides. Okay, next let's break it down even further. Next, we're going to remove the bottoms and disassemble these pieces. Should be pretty easy. Just make sure that you pull it out evenly. Next, let's take off this back piece. So where this back piece meets the side, you're going to find a couple of little clips and if you pull slightly here and push on this clip it should pop off and then repeat for the other side now for each drawer that I disassemble I'll be able to get rid of the drawer front the drawer bottom and the drawer back piece because I'm going to make my own custom sized pieces and that means for each drawer that I disassemble, I'll have two sides, two glides, and two of these brackets. Okay, so now that we've disassembled everything, let's go out in the garage and make our custom pieces. This particular piece is gonna be the drawer bottom. Thank you. 
So these little ears go into this groove and I want to transfer this groove onto my custom drawer bottom. Got a groove on each side. And I need to remove this material and I'll do that with the table saw. I'm drilling this hole. The first hole gives me access so that I can drill this hole. So the first hole makes it easier for me to drill the second hole. And the second hole is to secure the drawer glide to the new drawer bottom. Next I'll make my new drawer front. So I want to go into a little bit more detail versus the last video I made about this. You place the bracket into the slot where it's going to be secured, but you don't lock it in. You don't push it in too far. And then you place double-sided sticky tape on each of the pieces so that once they're made it together, they'll stick together. This is just temporary. so that you can find the placement of the brackets on the new drawer front. So just touch it lightly. The double-sided sticky tape will grab on. And now your brackets are in the right spot. So you can just drill the holes. Saves a lot of time on having to measure things. We're almost done. Just a couple more steps. This is the best part. So I'm just taking off the drawer bottom so that I can apply some contact paper. I'm going with white just to keep everything clean looking. And last, I'm cutting a piece here. To form a lip. Sort of something to prevent things from sliding off the back of the shelf when I'm pulling it out. Okay, let's remove everything from the shelves. I'm using this as a spacer and I need to find out where the studs are inside the walls. Oh, 
behind this section there's no stud so I'm having to use an anchor this is just a regular drywall anchor to secure the back side of the glide All right, now let's just put it in. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. It's gone pretty long. Just imagine I'm gonna do the same thing on this next shelf. If you like this video, if you wanna see more videos like this one, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna get notified when I upload a video, don't forget to hit the bell icon. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.